Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the end times. Here on this gorgeous, it is now Wednesday, October 20th, 2021. And, and, and guys, uh, this is it. Uh, this really is it. Really, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, I know you have heard this before on June 1st and probably sometime since then. I have simply got to get my life back. And uh, all joking aside, this is one of the hardest fucking uh, videos I've ever made uh, where I am, uh, I, I, I am just putting the final nail in the coffin on this whole fucking chaotic, fictional, mythical love affair with the uh, mysterious Dulcinea. Uh, I, I, I simply have to get my life back. It's just, this is, this is, it's not good for me. It's not good for Dulcinea. Uh, I, I have been trying for two and a half years to convince this woman right here that uh, I am uh, in love with her and have been in love with her since the day I saw this video. Uh, this was, uh, well, when would this have been? From June of 2019 on the Natural Progressive when Chris and Sandy brought Maggie on to introduce Maggie to uh, the rest of the planet. So at this point, at this point, I'm sure that you guys don't remember, Maggie, her channel was called Maggie May. Maggie May, she has since ripped the channel down, much to my horror. Uh, Maggie May uh, was one of the great Doomer channels, uh, where th this, this woman... Uh, she, she I, I felt like she was speaking directly to me. Uh, so anyway, I, I know a lot of you, I have been receiving a lot of very negative comments and private emails, both from uh, my male and female buddies who are, who have been watching uh, Maggie's uh, two new YouTube channels, which we'll get to in a minute, uh, and are just, you know, watching what has happened to this woman and not understanding the backstory. So I just want to, to let you guys know the woman on Mind's Eye View in Axiom is not the woman I fell in love with. I, I am still in love with that woman uh, on uh, those two new channels, but obviously if I had uh, never known Maggie uh, from the, the woman she used to be, uh, obviously, uh, I, I would spend about five minutes on one of her other YouTube channels, but we're going to start out, just so you understand, this was my very first introduction to Dulcinea, and I have been cursing Chris and Sandy ever since for ever bringing uh, this woman into my life. So this is what I heard when uh, when Cupid's arrow uh, when Cupid's arrow shot through me, this was where it all started. How cool! Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll be cool. Yeah. Oh, I did want to say. I did want to say. Um, I've been watching a lot of Hambone. Um, he's amazing. He is so funny. 
He's so freaking funny. Oh my He's god. Hilarious. And by the way, I ha I promised him I would do this. We really need to to if It would really be nice if Chris and Sandy had let Maggie go talk. immediately over. Um, Sam needs to raise his his female um, subscriber rate, viewership rate. He is at a very low rate. He needs some females. Go over there and subscribe yeah. to Bob's A lot of females find him on And Humpty Dumpty, Dumpty tribe. Right, it's true. If, yeah. if you don't have a sense of humor, then you can go to hell because you have to have a sense of humor to watch him, okay? Yeah. <laughs> this is the way it is. You do, like, Jim or stand-up. He's oh, so funny. Yeah. I mean, oh, like, yeah. I'm crying. My sides are hurting, and I'm crying, and I'm like, <laughs> the funniest guy on YouTube. I know. I love so Maggie. Him. So imagine a why would Hamba and Little Tail uh, fall in love uh, with? This is the woman that that I fell in love with, and uh, and then watching her Maggie May channel, which I have been begging her to bring back up. She ripped it down. Apparently, if I recall the story, this is when I realized uh, a few cracks in the woman I had chosen for my Doomer chick forever. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, Maggie, the reason you pulled your story down is because you thought the YouTube spies were spying on you. Not not the cop bots. Real live flesh and blood YouTube spies were parked in a car at the bottom of your driveway spying on you and you pulled down Maggie the Maggie May channel. I know you still have those videos up. And uh, so anyway uh, it took me six months to actually meet up with Maggie, and uh, I, I, again, the, the, the moment I saw this woman, I mean, when she came in to, uh, when, when she came, you know, physically into view in front of me, this gorgeous woman, uh, it, it, it was... The, 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 you know, this old cliche about Cupid's arrow, I was pierced through the heart. I, I, was, I, I was knocked backwards. This is the woman. This is exactly what I told her one hour after meeting her in person. Uh, I, I, I said she was in the process. We were at a cemetery and uh, walking the dogs in a cemetery, sitting on a tombstone, and she was telling me this story about how some succubus had been perched on her chest that morning, picking his teeth with dental floss, I guess, or a toothpick. So she's telling me this story about a succubus sitting on her chest this morning, and I said, darling, I, I hate to interrupt your story, but there's something I need to let you know. And she said, oh, what's that? And, and, and I said, Maggie, I, I, I said, you are the woman that I have been waiting for for my entire life. I have been in love with you since the moment... I ever saw your face, meaning this moment right here. I have been in love with you the moment I ever saw your face, and I want you to be my Doomer chick forever. And that was almost exactly two years ago, and I have been carrying the flame uh, for, for this woman uh, for the past two years. We have gotten actually gotten together. Uh, and when I say gotten together, get your mind out of your crotch. We have never consummated anything. Okay. Uh, Maggie and I have not ever had sex. So you can 
move on uh, with that, but even without ever making love to the woman I've been in love with for two and a half years, uh, I have been, we've, we've met together two more times. So I have actually spent uh, in the company of this woman, if you added it all up, how many hours have we spent together, Maggie? Less than 24 hours. Uh, but, but anyway, uh, this woman, ever since she walked into my life, uh, I have, she, she is the only woman uh, in my heart. And there is no room as long as she is, uh, is in my heart. I am not going to let in another woman. I have waited for two years trying to uh, convince uh, Maggie, to, who is married, Okay, I have I've been trying to convince this woman, who is obviously an intelligent woman, to leave her marriage, to leave her comfortable home uh, in suburbia, you know, to leave her friends, her family, whatever, and join me on this chaotic quest, you know, at Bugs in a Jar Farm in uh, New York for half the year and living in an 18-foot trailer, which up until today I have called the Maggie May. I need to change the name of that trailer. Uh, suffering this absolute chaotic delusion. Uh, as I was mentioning, when someone asked me who Dulcinea was, Dulcinea was the, 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 this semi-mythical uh, woman that Don Quixote uh, had met and fallen in love with and it just built this fucking fantasy around her that uh, convincing himself that he could convince her to leave her life uh, to join him on his chaotic quest to save the planet. Dulcinea never had any intention uh, 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 of joining Don Quixote uh, on his quest to save the planet. She, she, she didn't uh, have it then. She never had had it. She never had any intention of joining him. And, and uh, Don Quixote just kept... Uh, going through, you know, with, with Dulcinea being uh, one of the, you, you, you know, that uh, not the only guiding force in his life, but you know what I'm saying. It's just like with bugs in a jar farm. I'm not going to sit here and say that the vision I created at Bugs in a Jar Farm for the past two summers was entirely making a home for Maggie, but it was a major part of it. I, I was going on, you know, with the delusion that uh, if she saw what, uh, what I was doing, that uh, she would understand that what I had to offer the alternative to that uh, comfort trap she had has going on in her life, that she would be crazy enough to uh, you know to come join me, and this is what where you know she told me she promised me last spring she was going to come join me on June first. I've been bugs in a jar farm. Obviously, she never showed up. And I, and I had one video trying to get rid of the woman, uh, but it wasn't enough. We met up again in August. Uh, she got back in touch with me in August, and uh, during that meeting, she admitted, uh, admitted, she claimed that she never told me she was going 
to uh, she was going to move up to Bugs in a Jar June 1st. Absolutely denying she ever said anything like that to me. And so then I, I, I just basically rehatched this plan that she had until midnight last night, the day she turned 50, uh, to start this new phase of her life uh, with, with me, she puts out a fucking video yesterday, you, you better come visit me, uh, on your way through, uh, and, and I just emailed her at midnight last night and said, darling, I am not in, in the market for a drive-by fuck. I am in the market to, uh, make a life with the woman I love, I have done everything I can to uh, to prove this to you, and uh, obviously I have failed. And so what I did is I gave her my physical addresses in New York and Florida. Anytime this woman wants to come join me on my path uh, and make it our path, she knows where to find me. But all of this shit, I, I've just, I, I can't go on like this. Uh, I can't, uh, I, I can't devote any more of my energy and give this woman any more of my power, you know, waiting like Charlie Brown. You know, it's like, Half the time, I, I, I'm, I'm waiting for Charlie Brown, like Charlie Brown waiting for that Valentine from the mythical little red-haired girl that never comes. Just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and, and, and it can be days, it can be weeks, it can be months. Finally, she appears out of nowhere, and then we start making plans, and, 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 and as soon as we're, we're you, you know, uh, we're right there trying to get her to make a commitment, then she goes from being the little uh, m mythical red-haired girl to being, you know, Lucy holding the fucking football. And, uh, and then as soon, uh, you know, where Charlie Brown is all set, she yanks the fucking football out from under him. So we have these dynamics going. And, and, and guys, uh, we are going to switch off here. And uh, so we have this uh, little uh, dynamic going on uh, going on between us and so anyway this is this, this is what Maggie has turned into in two and a half years that is the woman in two and a half years uh this breaks my heart. This is from her Axiom channel. I uh, can't. I don't know how Maggie does this shit with uh, not getting uh, not getting uh, copyright strikes. So I can't play the. But but anyway. So here is the woman that this. That, that is the same woman that you just saw in that picture. This is Maggie about a week ago without the... Uh, wait a minute. I have no idea who this woman is. Now, there is music in the background.
I don't know who this is. I don't know who this woman is. This is this is heartbreaking. You know, I've uh, I have all sorts of theories. Uh, I I have heard uh, that she suffers from something called uh, not bipolar. I'm the one who's bipolar, borderline personality. So one theory is that this woman suffers from borderline personality and, and good God, uh, studying borderline personality and watching her videos, there's certainly a case to be made for that. And then, of course, there's people who are claiming that the woman is, is clearly schizophrenic. And if you, and if you look at videos of, uh, if you look at videos of, uh, you know, recognizing signs of schizophrenia, and then you go back uh, onto her two YouTube channels and just go through her videos, my God, you could uh, you could get a PhD in, in, in recognizing signs of schizophrenia, and, and then there's people who say, "Hey, man, is beyond that 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 the woman has multiple personalities. You never know. You can see this there. The, you know, you watch these videos, and and, uh, and, and there's still little flashes." Particularly, you know, when she's out in the when she's out in the woods, when she's out in nature, I I can still hear some echo of this woman that I fell in love with. But when she when she's in her own house, usually with this uh, whatever blaring. Uh, this music blaring and stuff. I don't know who the fuck the woman is. I don't know if she's borderline. I don't know if she's schizophrenic. I don't know if uh, if uh, she's got multiple personalities. Uh, you know, one theory is that she just smokes too fucking much weed. And, uh, and, and, and that this is just when she gets fucked up on too much weed. I don't know. Uh, another buddy is claiming that Hambone, she's just fucking with you in this little sick, twisted little cat and mouse game. Another buddy is saying, Hambone, um, uh, Maggie is, is crazy like a fox. She's fucking working you, brother. She's working you. She's working a half a dozen other men. Uh, that she's just some, uh, you know, some sad woman in a bad marriage trapped in, a, in, in some fucking comfort trap. And, and, it, it's, uh, and you pump up her ego. Uh, so uh, this is what she, but I, I don't know, guys. Uh, I, 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 I don't, I don't know. Uh, let's do here. Th this gives you an idea. Let's listen to, uh, one of her. Okay. This is her recent video titled, I Will Not, showing a picture of a half-eaten plate of nachos. Or something like this. I will not succumb to the holding. 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 I will not succumb to the fucking holding. And you probably couldn't hear that in the very last half second. She was 
in the room with some guy, and you and you actually see this man in the uh, in the in the next video. So I am blaming this one. I'm just getting a real creepy feeling about the dude she was in the room with has somehow fucking gotten his claws in her. I don't care. It's not my problem. But anyway, guys, I, I've got to put an end to this. So anyway, Dulcinea is one of her last comments to me on, on uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Is there really 50 ways to leave your lover? And I don't know if this is 50, but guys, it, 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 it has come to the time. Here are a few ways that a fictional character can leave a, a fictional mythical lover. All right, now I don't have a smartphone yet, so I use Skype. So it's very easy uh, on Skype. You just go to edit the contact. This is how you keep uh, someone you need out of your life. Uh, if, uh, well, now it lost. Uh, and it, you hit block contact. Block this contact. Do you really want to block Maggie May from ever calling you again? Block contact. Block this contact. Block. That is it. That is how, and I'm sure your smartphone will do the same. Okay, Yahoo Mail is very uh, easy. We're going to put in Maggie May. Uh, Maggie May. Then you just uh, call up. A, uh, you just call up the message from the person. You go up here to these little three dots and put block senders. Uh, block all future emails. Okay. All right. Maggie will never now now fucking Gmail pisses me off when you go on to Gmail and you say how do you block an email this is the instructions on your computer go to Gmail open the message in the top right click more and click block well okay so I go over to my fucking email I, uh, this is my Collapse Chronicles email. I call up, uh, I call up a, uh, a message from Maggie May. You go up here and there is no, there is no block the sender. Like there was, and there is no way. So here is how you do this. Because uh, since Google is uh, a lying sack of shit, if you want to block somebody on Gmail, you filter messages like these. And I can't be showing her email address. So it's from, uh, you know, from the email address. And then you go into the uh, to field. Motherfucker. You go into the to field and you just put in your own, uh, you, you put in your own 
uh, email address. You can block her actually from, from sending messages to anybody else, like if somebody, but this is where, so what you do is you simply uh, go from the person, you know, fill in the to field, and then you go on to create filter, and then you go on delete. So whenever Maggie tries to send me uh, an email to Collapse Chronicles, uh, it will automatically, uh, your filter was created. So that is how you block people on. So of course, I've got two Gmail addresses. This is the last picture. Uh, this is the last picture Maggie May ever sent me uh, in her life. This was the, uh, the last photograph I ever got from Dulcinea uh, in my life. So we're just going to uh, do this, go back up to hit those three little dots. You are not going to cease anything that says block. You go back on filter messages. Uh, you put in uh, the name of the channel. Uh, this is Sancho's channel. Uh, channel at. It sure would be nice if Google just had a block con. So you put in that, you create the filter, you hit delete it and save. And that's it. Uh, so I have now, uh, I have now deleted uh, Dulcinea from calling me, from emailing me. But now, of course, there's two more things to do. My battery is running low. Motherfucker, my battery is running low. So, uh, where is the fucking battery? It's right here. Where the fuck do I plug in this motherfucker? Good fucking God. All right. It's tough. It, it, it's not that easy. Uh, 50 ways to leave your mythical lover. Uh, find a fucking plug. Fucking battery. Okay. We have some more things we need to do. Uh, now we need to... What are we going to do first? We are going to... Uh, Cancel Maggie Culture. We are going to cancel Maggie Culture. We're going to go over here to her Axiom. <clears throat> Let's see. We're going to uh, look at her video from last week. Uh, Dear Hambone Little Dick. Uh, and let's go on. Thank you for the birthday. This is her her birthday message from me. Uh, oh, I see I have a, a, a heart from Maggie. Uh, my comment to her birthday message to me, there is one person keeping you removed from me, and it is not me, and it is not your partner. The answer to your question is in that mirror in front of your face. If you would put down that damn camera and take a long, deep look into those haunting eyes, happy birthday, darling, I love you. And I got a little heart back for that comment. 
And now for my final comment ever. Uh, I think my time is done here. Good bye unsubscribed. I think my time is done here. Goodbye, unsubscribe. And all you do to uh, cancel a subscription, you just go to the subscribed button, you know, for the channel. Unsubscribe from Axiom. Yep, unsubscribe. That was easy. And now we need to go over to <clears throat> her other channel, Mind's Eye View. Alright. I'm hearing reports. I don't care. I don't watch Maggie's Check videos. Out so this is her last video on Mind's Eye View about cool old planters cement. So, we're going to go to Mind's Eye View for the last comment uh, ever that I will leave on Mind's Eye View. I think my time is done here. Unsubscribed. And then you just go to up here and hit the subscribed link unsubscribe from mind's eye view unsubscribe i have now gotten uh, that out of my life of course there are two other things i need to do is i need to uh i need to ban her from uh i need to ban her two channels from uh how do we do this okay what you need to do is you need to go over to youtube studio you need to go on to your channel, uh, go down through your subs, and we are going to go down to, uh... oh, it looks like, uh, Maggie has already banned me, uh, I don't have to do this, I guess, uh, Oh, I just unsubscribed from the fucking channel. Now we're, okay, that, it's not an easy thing to find Axiom. Now that I'm, now that I'm, see, there's like 25 channels called Axiom. And, uh, oh, fuck, now I can't find her, uh, you cannot find Axiom. And, and since I just, all right, here we go. She has a new one called Married to God, I guess. Okay. Uh, we have four new videos. Does the Matrix look like a sponge? Walmart. Married to God. Something I have no idea what she's talking about. And like stained glass. Uh... But I am confused. How the fuck? I am, I am drawing a blank here. Uh, let's see. What do I need to do? How the fuck? What you need to do? Okay, well, I know what you need to do. You don't go into subs. You go in to... Uh, you go in to... Uh, comments, that's where you would go into, you go into comments, okay, you search, uh, you, so you put in 
axiom. All right, so you go in and search, and then any comment uh, that axiom has ever left, uh, you go in to the, you call up the comment, you go over here to the little thing, to the little three dots, and put hide user from channel. Now, there's no way that I can keep uh, Dulcinea from watching my videos. I mean, she's welcome to keep watching my videos. She can just never comment. Uh, okay, so we need to do the same thing uh, for Minds I View. So we go to Filter, you go to Search, Search for Minds I View. Okay. Apply. So every comment, uh, the last comment I got from her was a little heart. Underneath that, Elon Musk is an Elohim. I have this on good sources. So anyway, you go over there to the three little dots. You put hide user from channel user hidden. All right. And that is how many ways to leave your mythical lover. Uh, we, I have blocked her on my phone. I have blocked her on three uh, email addresses. I have unsubscribed from both of her channels. I have kicked her off. She has been kicked out of uh, both of her channels have been kicked out of Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I already took care of that on Collapse Chronicles uh, before I started this video. So, uh, anyway, Sandy is back there playing Maggie's voice. I, I no longer watch uh, Maggie videos. Would you please turn that off? T turn it off. Turn it off. Do you get it, Sandy? I don't want to hear from Maggie again. The next time I want to hear from this woman that I am in love with is when she is driving up into my driveway at Bugs in a Jar Farm uh, in Ithaca, New in outside of Ithaca, New York, or driving up to the end of a rutted out dirt road in the Point Lonesome Swamp in Florida. Uh, this woman, who I am still hopelessly in love with, I still want her to be my doomer chick forever, but uh, until she is ready to pull up in my fucking driveway, get out of her car, and give me a hug and a kiss, and say, Hambone, let's do it. The invitation is open, Maggie. You have both of my physical addresses. You plug them in your fucking Google map on your little smartphone, and you come see me, and uh, we, can, uh, we can start our path together. But uh, I have had enough. Uh, I, 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 darling, I, 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 I can't stand this anymore. I don't know if this is just some sick, twisted fucking game that you think is funny. There, there's nothing funny about it. Uh, your, your new channels, uh, she calls her new channels comedy. There is nothing comedic about your new channels. Your, your new channels are tragic.
they're heartbreaking for anybody who who loves you the woman you were two years ago to watch what has happened to you it breaks my fucking heart it breaks my fucking heart but I've I, I've had enough of had uh, of having my fucking heart broken I need to uh, start getting you out of my heart, out of my fucking head, so I can make room uh, for another woman who really does appreciate what I have to offer her and uh, move on with my life. Until I find her, you are still the woman I am in love with. And I want you to be my Doomer chick forever, but there's nothing else I can do to convince you to do that. You know where to find me, darling. Goodbye, Maggie. I love you.